Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon here in Thailand. Um, time to look at the crypto market. Right, if you've been following me um, and my crypto reports, if you're a subscriber especially, but if you're even if you've just been following me on uh, YouTube, Twitter, whatever, you'll know that I've been bearish of, uh, of this crypto market for a significant period of time. It was all fairly obvious uh, when we got the topping patterns. Anyway, I'm not going to go into the history of it, but obviously the market has been going down. And we've really broken some very important support levels. And this, I think we're actually going to now start accelerating to the downside. There's probably a lot of people who think, well, we've come down so far. Now's a great time to be getting in. You know, we've, well, uh, Bitcoin, as you can see, is now halved, almost exactly halved, actually, as I speak to you now. 34,300 and change. Uh, we'd been up as far as just, um, uh, well, 69,000. So we are, you know, past the halfway point on the downside we've already we'd already done that in January of course we got down to 32.950 a decent recovery up to the 32 point uh 38.2% fib and the 200 day moving average nice little sell opportunity there fairly obvious uh of course um not rocket science and then the market's taken a tumble now the 100 day moving average we're trading below that again we had crept above that middle of March but we didn't, didn't last long, did we? By the beginning of April, we're back below the 100-day moving average, and that's really acted as a very good resistance level through the middle of April. And of course, we've now um, head, started to head lower. So not a surprise, but I really, uh, this, is, this is the worry for any crypto bulls out there. Here's the weekly chart. Now, if the bulls were gonna mount a successful defense and start building you know, uh, some sort of recovery, well, they've lost the chance now. We're through 36,000, which is the 100 week moving average. We're through this trend line, which goes all the way back to 25th July, um, end of July, 2021. So what's that? Nine month trend line. We're breaking below that. We've well broken through the 100 week moving average. It's 36,000. You know, we're, we're almost 2,000 points below there. We're, we're th certainly uh, nearly 1,750, uh, 1,700 points below there. We've, we've, we've broken this trend line. That trend line has a value of almost 34,000. So, you know, we're over, we're, you know, 600 points below there too. This really looks absolutely dreadful uh, if you, if for, for the longs in Bitcoin. I, I just, the only hope now really for, for these longs is that we uh, get a low in at around 32,950. What's this low down here? 34,320. Where have we been uh, so far? Yeah, we've, well, we've tested that, that one and we've kind of held it. This low here, 32,950. I, I personally wouldn't be buying down there, but that is the only hope that the bulls have got now to try to defend uh, this, uh, this cryptocurrency. I wish I could be, say something more optimistic, but I just can't see anything at all. You know, look, we're oversold, but we've been bumping along oversold uh, territory for a, a month and that hasn't helped at all. We've just headed lower. So this, this looks really appalling. Ripple has kind of looked weaker than Bitcoin for quite a while. Uh, you know, very significant moves to the downside, retesting or even, well, retesting the January low, the 2022 low at uh, 54.74. We've been down to 56.30. Where are we now? 56.30. Anyway, we haven't quite tested it. I'll take these fib levels off. They're a bit old. We have broken this little trend line. I'll take that off. That's no longer relevant. Uh, so the only hope now for uh, Ripple is that we hold the January low of 54.74, 54.75 and, and engineer some sort of double bottom. Well, that wouldn't, nah, that, that would be more than a double bottom because we've got some lows here as well. But you know, for me, the, the problem is that the week in the weekly chart, oh, let me just uh, bring that up a bit more so you can actually see it. There we go. The, week, the weekly chart, we're, we're well below the 100 week moving average. That was your sell signal, um, of course. Uh, which we, which we, uh, well, subscribers got in on. Uh, the high of this little candle for this week is um, 65.70. So we got so close to the 100 week, week moving average on the bounce, and then just collapsed. You know, every time this market tries to tries to move to the upside, it just gets dumped. Now there was some hope for Ethereum, uh, <laughs> but look, looks like we're breaking below this trend line. This is quite an important trend line. Well, we're certainly testing it. This trend line goes back to. Uh, 20th of, uh, okay, so it's the end of February uh, last year, so it's over a year old, and well, 25.50 is the, is the level. We are, we are certainly giving it a good old test, aren't we? I, I, you know, at the moment, I can say that we're holding it, so there is some hope for Ethereum bulls, but this is worrying. Look, the, the green 500-day moving average, what a tremendous support level that had been in January, 
even in February, even though we spiked quite significantly lower to retest the January low, but the buyers rocketed this price back up again. Worked again in March, all the way through the first, uh, second week of March, in fact, it was an excellent support level, this green 500 day moving average, and eventually triggered quite a significant bounce all the way up through the 100, up to the 200 day moving average, um, and to the 50% fib, so quite a good recovery, but, you know, sooner, sooner, sooner or later, the, the bears came in, sold the market off. 100-day moving average. These moving averages really do work well in these crypto markets. Uh, work really well on the downside of support. Then it worked as resistance, and eventually, this 500-day moving average just gave way. And as you know, if, if you've been following me or subscribing to me, I expected that to happen. Even you know, at, the, at this stage, it just couldn't hold again. So down we go. Now we, you know, we must have hit some stop loss orders because we're moving significantly and aggressively to the downside. So. Uh, the only hope for Ethereum is that trend line which goes back over a year. Ugh, it just doesn't, I don't think it's going to hold. Anyway, if you do and you want to try along, fair enough. If we, if we collapse, we're looking at 2300 as the next stop. We're looking at, you know, yeah, 2300 for sure. What's the low here? 2157. You know, that's going to tie in nicely with the 100, 100 week moving average. So bulls really have to regroup around the 2150, 2100 area in uh, Ethereum. Otherwise, um, very uh, other further further very significant moves to the downside. But anyway, we're 500 points, so we're, we're certainly um, yeah about five uh, 500 points away from that. So we'll have to wait and see later on next week if that does get tested. Okay, that's it. Yeah, bad news for the bulls. I'm sorry to sorry to deliver that. Uh, I really do see uh, further moves to the downside this week for those crypto markets.